afternoon, I led Bullets for Life here, and it is uh, about 10 minutes to 1 on the West Coast. So, uh, guys, uh, today I had an appointment at 10 o'clock with the VA, and um, my, I got there about 15 minutes early, as recommended, and I was there to get my number two hepatitis shot. So, the last visit I had in um, December, doctor said that I was not immune to hepatitis. So, there's a series of three shots that you get, and I got one in, um, I believe it was December, and um, I got one today, and I'm scheduled for the third one in uh, June, June 30th, as a matter of fact, six months later. So, um, with that, I go, it's 10 o'clock, I tell the uh, the check-in people at the uh, counter, and I'm here for a 10 o'clock appointment. You give them your whole shebang. Social Security number a whole bit. And um, they say, okay, go upstairs uh, and uh, go to room uh, 2B. So I'm on 2B. And so when I get there, uh, a gentleman gets called in. He goes in. And then here comes a, another old veteran, comes in with his family, and they park it, you know, a little ways down the, uh, the seating area. Area now the other sense on the, the seating areas are now are now six feet apart so there are chairs that you can't sit on you know to reduce the spread of COVID. So I'm sitting there waiting and uh, another guy comes in. He sits down and all of a sudden he gets called in. Scratching my head like it's at ten o'clock right? I don't know what I'm waiting here for. So here comes another gentleman. He comes there. About 10.15 goes by, it's 15 minutes past my schedule, and uh, he gets ca called in. And so, um, I'm like, okay, may maybe there's something wrong here. So, uh, I guess the um, receptionist came by and she asked me, uh, or she's like an MA, she asked me, so, uh, sir, are you uh, still waiting? Oh, yeah, I've been waiting since uh, 10 o'clock and it's already 10.15 already. So she, I gave her my name and my last social. So she goes, I'll check up and find out who your uh, your nurse is. All right. Um, so she comes back about 15 minutes later and says, uh, Unfortunately, Mrs. Sorrell, your nurse caught the COVID and is not coming in today. I'm like, wonderful. But one of the other nurses will take your, uh, your case after they're done with the person that they're scheduled for. So, okay, fine, not, that'll, that'll work. So within a few minutes, he comes out. It's about 10.35 already, and he comes out, and we, same guy I get the shots from last time, so, you know, me and him kind of know each other pretty good now. Yeah, he's an ex-Army veteran. But um, we start talking a bit, and I says, what am I here for? I, I, keep, I keep forgetting what I'm here for, because I keep getting shots for everything. He goes, oh, yeah, this is for your hepatitis number two. Oh, okay. So, normally it's in five stages, but you're only getting in three stages. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. So, he asked me which arm. I said left arm. So, he, you know, he gives me the shot. And uh, off I go. So, it took a whole hour from, let's see, uh, 9.45 when I checked in and 10.45 when I left. So, yeah, uh, this happened before. My doctor was late one time. But anyways, guys... Um, I'm at the bench right now, and I just finished loading up 50 of the 6.5 grainers of uh, Alliant Power Pistol, and I'll be loading up another 50 with uh, Hodgson's H110, and we'll be using small pistol primers. Magnum rifle primers actually, yes, and those are the ones I had I'd bought in a few months ago, and uh, I still have them. Due to the rain and all, you know, I wasn't able to go out and shoot. So uh, we're gonna be doing that today. Now, what I like about the uh, the um, the H110 is that it's uh, it fills up the cases pretty good. I don't have to put a wad in them. Now, I take out about 10 primers at a time, 
This way they don't fall over off the table. All right, guys, we're all done with the loading. 50 rounds of 6.5 grains of uh, uh, Lion Power Pistol and 50 rounds of uh, H110, 14.5 grains, with the uh, small Magnum Rifle Primer. We'll be testing these out on Saturday, and we'll be using the uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 686 4-inch barrel. Until then, guys, thanks for watching today. This is Labels for Life. Have a good afternoon. We'll see you at the range or here at the loading bench. Take care. Bye for now.